a four-star win at Poe last year. And then since then, she's won pretty much everything. <laughs> second at Badminton with this horse, then won Le Moulin on her other horse, Escada, to take the FEI Classics title. Team Gold, uh, we go back to Ingrid Klimka, horsewear, hail Bob. Ingrid lose second at Badminton in 2006 with Sleep Late as well. So, so it will actually mean that no matter how fast Ingrid goes, Michael will have a fence in hand going into show jumping tomorrow. Yeah, 4.3 penalty advantage if Ingrid goes clear in. We've got Ingrid coming to fence four. That means that Britain to go in the inside line, three strides and three strides, absolutely foot perfect through there. She's normally a very fast rider across country and this horse is quite pony-like, so it should suit nippy track. Ingrid Klimke at the top of the course. This is the three minute marker, so she's coming up towards the uh, big ski jump. Hops down off that. Interesting that she took Bob rather than Escada here. It just meant that the Germans were really thinking about this as a cross country competition and they were right to do so. <laughs> Ingrid coming towards the Longines top water. About four and a half minutes into her round. This horse just loves his job. He is pricked, always looking for the next fence. Big jump over that step and bounce out really nicely. But it's really important for them with a the Rio qualification that he needs a clear round. So will he play safe or will he go for a, the medals? Ingrid Klimka, horseway hell bob up there at the castle fences. Comes to the stag's heads. Paul Roger, tremendous new sponsors in our sport. So see Ingrid coming into the main arena, just setting up the left-handed corner. The right-handed corner, knocks the flag, but that was just with her foot. Absolutely flying. Yeah, she gave herself a really nice line through there, just probably went out a little bit wider than the majority had walked it and the majority had ridden it. So it left her knifing across at that flag, but no question about it in my mind. That is no. fine and dandy, and she did a super job of horsemanship through there. Absolutely brilliant through there. Straight over that arrowhead, but here's Ingrid. All going straight, Ruth. She's going straight. All the Germans have gone straight so far. Has a little look into the ditch, steadies him up. Great shot over that, which sets her up nicely for the corner coming out. Foot perfect. Great job there by Ingrid Klimka, horsewell hell bob. Well, number three. Now who could really shake up the top of the leaderboard. So Ingrid. Great Britain's score after four riders, 169.3. Netherlands 209.3. There are only confirmed scores that are still in the running at the moment. This will be the next, though. Germany, we know they can't be beaten for overnight gold, but uh, will Ingrid help or hinder their score? Young on his dresser score 33.5. Sandra Alfarth on 42.6 in the clubhouse. Ingrid is on 37.8. And still inside the time at the moment, she's got 30 seconds from here. I don't think she can quite do it. And she's going to pick up. So absolutely flying through that last combination. It's all about the time now. She's not going to get up into the medals at the moment as it stands. Remember, Sandra on 42.6. And now Ingrid starts to affect the team score. It'll bring Germany back a little bit closer to Great Britain. Finishes on 46.6. So she slots into sixth place, 8.8 .8 time penalties. Just goes between Kitty King and Gemma Old second after Dressage on 30.3, but she's riding now for the individual lead after the uh, 
fall earlier on for dressage leader Bettina Hoy. Ingrid, ranked 25th in the world at the moment, twice an Olympic team gold medalist. Rio was her fifth Olympic Games. With uh, Hale Bob, she's on 30.3 in second place. She was individually fifth at the Blair Europeans and won Po at the four-star level with this horse in 2014. Third rider for the German team, a clear inside the time for her would keep Germany in third position. And being brave here. A little bit of a wiggle from Bobby, but they're clear. Poppy the log dropping down the far side of the bank to splash through the water. Also, Hellbob just looks down for a moment at the water, then locks onto the boat, and away they go. You know, Germany are hungry for this, no doubt about it. They want to try and get the best possible result out of both Ingrid and Mikael Jung still to come because they're carrying Julia Krajewski's 20 jumping penalties and some time penalties uh, and they're down to being just a three-member team. But of course, Ingrid Klimke and Horsewear Hale Bob, the Oldenburger. Galloping on, still positively out at the far end of the course. Three minutes on their clock. Coming to the A&R fence, this uh, Otter and Corner, both frangible, both on the min clips, so they will deform under specific downward pressure. So she needs to be there in 3 minutes and 21, she was there in 3 minutes and 19. So slightly up on the clock so far in the Clinton for help ball. Italy uh, still to send out their third team rider. Italy are chasing Germany for bronze at the moment. 123 is Germany's score, relying on Ingrid to go clear and inside the time. Italy are on 131. So if Ingrid has a problem, or so here's Horsewear Hill, Bob and Ingrid. Next big water, jumping those three rushes, and she's up on the clock, but still by about five seconds. It really is incredible. She's kept up a relentless gallop so far. Five minutes was the middle part of the water. She was there in about 4.48. So next for Horsewear Hill Ball, Binger and Klimka, the, the Devico combination. It's a long gallop on the water as well, really gives the horses time just to take a breather. Yeah, the intensity of the track, uh, when you include this arena fence from the first, uh, the, the first time through the main water, arena fence back to the water. It's, it's a tough little bit of the track. It's nice for them to have a gallop to just get their head straight again if necessary. But uh, Horsewear Hill Bob, he loves this job. Yeah, he really does. I mean, you only have to look at the horse's expression as he's galloping across the country. Ears pricked, focused, looking for his next uh, fence. Pops over the 19th. Again, she'll be there 6.16, so she's uh, now... A about four, five seconds up on the clock. This is where Ingrid's very clever, because she'll up the tempo between the fences. She knows there's some combination fences coming up. Fence 20. Six minutes and 39 seconds she should be jumping this. Five seconds up. So this is looking like a really good round. She's riding for the overnight lead. Tina Cook now confirms will finish the day no lower than eighth. In the team classification at the moment after the second rider rotation. Ingrid Klimka up to the corner at 23. Gets a pack from Ingrid. 
That's the first anxious moment I think uh, we've seen. So they start their 360 degree turn at the water. 24 A, B and C. Eight minutes and eight seconds as they leave the water. And still five seconds up. She's staying in a consistent rhythm. Remember, although Ingrid are clearing inside the time for her, delivers her the individual lead going into the final day. It is also necessary to merely hold Germany in bronze medal position. Interestingly down there, she's just asking uh, Otto Hermann to change legs. She asked him three times, he didn't respond, and on the fourth time he did. So I just wonder whether he's getting a little bit tired. It's not like him not to respond to uh, Ingrid. She wanted that right cantilever. as she came into the fence around the corner so as he wasn't unbalanced. I think it's been surprisingly, it's getting warmer. It still would be, I think, around 20 degrees, 22. Certainly not as warm as we've had it so far this week but uh, whether the riders are just finding that the hill on the far side going up to the Rainbow House from 19, 20, 21, yeah. around there is, is actually more of a pull than they thought. Yeah, no, I'd agree because it's easy to misjudge the distance you've done on the flat as well because yeah. you're going up and down and then that hill can just be that last little bit that can tip the balance. Ooh. Uh -huh. That was a lucky moment yeah. and this, uh, so the clock, nine minutes 30, She's definitely up on the clock, but she needed to be jumping that at 9.30 to get the time. 9.43. Well, she's uh, slightly up again. And uh, her, her bomb is answering questions. So she goes to the last. She's going to be inside the time. So it goes into overnight gold medal individual place. Yep, 9 minutes 52 is the... With another one in the same keeping as Michael Young's two great horses, Sam and Ricarda, neither of which had particularly good movement, and nor has Hale Bob. But in, in as much as he hasn't got particularly long, flashy strides for the dressage. And by Jose Canedo Engoso. Dropping down Ingrid Klimka. See the Longines SAP tracking device brings us to the water. Ooh. She hardly moves. Got the rain. I'd just like to see what would happen if that water was five inches deeper. It's very shallow and they're getting away with herring into it. I'm not sure if that's such a good thing for us all to learn to do. Well, Bobby, coming down around the turns. This is one of those crossover points here. To see, they, they've ag they've uh, vertidrained the ground here. They've watered, but still kicking up dust. It's fairly sandy here, isn't it? Very sandy, and it gets incredibly hard. And I think we've done an amazing job to alleviate some of the sting in the ground. So Ingrid Klimka and Bobby make their way from the maximum dimensional table, the riders bar at six, into the main arena, four jumping efforts in the main arena, the table at seven, the Longines combination, table at seven, left-handed corner at 8A, table at 8B, and left-handed corner at 8C and D. That number together, because if they would like to take a longer route, they can do, these guys will not be doing that. Barring catastrophe, of course. Woof. Three. Three and three. Whoa, whole stride missing from the from the first table to the corner, too. Seven, three and three, and others have done eight or nine, four and three. But there you are, it doesn't matter. You don't really ride what you're um what you've walked, you ride what you feel. Ingrid Klimka and horse uh, and, and uh, SAP Hell Bob. SAP Hell Bob. Now the tree. We wondered if anyone would go inside. No one has. So did I. 
And I thought these good ones might, but they don't need to because the time is gettable. If it had been as hard as I hoped it would have been, I think some of them would have gone inside that Do tree. You? Yeah. yeah. I think it would cut two seconds off. Here comes Hale Bob to the silver birch rails, going left. He's, he's a point and go, isn't he? He is such an old customer now at 15. He's been with Ingrid for so long. It's Ingrid Klimka and uh, SAP Hell Bob coming around to the mayor's house. Jumping the mayor's house and turn right to the double of angle brushes. 18A, 18B and then the, A, the triple arrow head at 18C. Bobby in. Oh, oh two another strides. one just to chip in that stride. <laughs> I don't blame them because it's a complete new surprise, this particular water. They don't know it's there until they get there. Ingrid gave Bobby a little tap down the shoulder there and just said, come on. And but she, she sat absolutely often. ready to absorb that little extra stride he put in. There was no question of it being a danger. Again, glad it was brush. <laughs> and I, I would just... Just watching him come through that water, that just seemed to have knocked a little bit of stuffing out of him because he's just got a little bit flat round here. Mm. Hottest part of the day, really, isn't it? No. Mm. Please pick your feet up, Bobby. Oh, beautifully Never ridden. Well done. And it's that forwardness that they appreciate the horses when they're a little bit tired and off a turn. Horse where hell, Bob. She needs to be... Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm just looking at my clock. At 23, she needs to be there. She should be right. She's, She's there. Yeah, she yeah, she, she is does good. something funny here. No, she she should be good. fine. Look at his face. He just completely reads the problem, doesn't he? It's gorgeous. She's barely got to hurry. Well, it looks like the uh, overnight two are going to stay the same. It is Germany 1-2. And that will mean that Germany will be overnight leaders in the team as well. As Ingrid Klimka, SAP, Hellbob jumped the last and stopped the clock with 12 seconds to spare.